Oh, you want to see if you can find a couple little cups or whatever to hold the, I don't know where they are, but screws and nuts and bolts. Second since I've done this, but this goes in here. Should we use the short one? Right, I just put it on this blue thing, right? Yeah. And push up? Yep. It's not gonna stay. Okay, then, then stop it from draining for a second. We have to get like another uh, zip tie to zip tie on it. I think it'll go over better. Okay. You've done this before, so I should probably listen to what you have to say. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. You tightening it before it was. Now I can't get it off. I got a cutter. Can you get this off? Yeah. It might need to be slightly higher too. For that to... It started a lot faster than this. Right, so all these just pull off. Mm -hmm. right? Okay, so we're gonna start with cylinder two, because that's just the one I'm closest to. We put in this fitting. It just needs to be hand tight. There's a O-ring on it, so. Okay, it's gonna have to be tightened with this guy. So you, you turn this to add pressure. You want to make sure it's at zero. It is. 
So we can hook this guy up. Now before we do that, we need to see if we're on the compression stroke. So we want to turn the engine in the direction it normally would go. I'm holding my thumb over this until it builds up pressure. Right there. Okay. So right in there. I gotta find top dead center. So we're gonna slowly put a little bit of pressure on this. The prop's gonna wanna move. Put 80 pounds on the left side. We want to see what we got on the right side. What do you see over there? 76. Uh, seven. Seventy-five. Yeah, seventy-five. Should have lost a pound. Seventy-six. Yeah. Seventy-six. Okay. That's what we're looking for. Is that the number you want? Yep. Well, I mean. As close to 80 as you can get. Just mean 80 means there's no leakage whatsoever. 76 is fine. So let's write that before we forget it. Up, up, up in a painted cup, I would pour my love from a cloud above. So bright I can see the lights taking you up and above the blue sky. Tastes good to be drinking all of the honey sweet brew of ours. Up, up in a painted cup, right in the sky like a firefly. Like a firefly I believe to believe is to feel the fire grow within I believe to believe is to see how the present comes from dreams Up, up, up in a painted cup I will paraglide across the sky let flowers and tiny hearts shape in a line in the cup of ours. So sweet like a honeybee can buzz around a honey tree. Up, up in a painted cup, right in the sky like a firefly. Mm, like a firefly.
flat, flat side down, right? Yep. Basically making sure that none of them look like they're, something was grossly wrong. The thing is, you know, these spark plugs are designed to last for 500, 1,000 hours, and we're, we're running them maybe 80. That's perfect. So, and we just throw them away and use new ones. So. But you, I thought you could reuse them. You can, but, uh, they're, but really they're, they're like four bucks or five bucks a piece. You reuse the ones in the RV8 because they're like $300 a piece. These but is cheap be, enough. But because it's so cheap, yes. it's just better to... Yep. Why? What makes the RV8 spark plugs fundamentally different that they cost? Well, I don't have an electronic ignition. I have a magneto ignition, and that requires the use of... Or it requires aviation spark plugs. Because this is an electronic ignition, the spark uh, fire is much hotter. You can use a different spark plug. Since I'm up here, let's just go ahead and do all the top. 